first of all, I applaud that the U.S. administration is finally having a plan for the green infrastructure because when the U.S. Biden administration joined Paris, there was no plan for the industrialization. So we need to applaud that. That's, that's synonymous to having their own green deal. Second, I think uh, when the U.S. administration uh, incentivized, uh, Europe is rather regulating. Right. So we need a bit to find a compromise in between. Yeah, indeed, Europe has now few challenges with the Russian war, the energy prices, right, and the lack of renewable infrastructure at cost and at scale. Obviously, the IRA has disturbed a bit uh, the equation, but I think it's, it's an opportunity rather than a challenge. So our company, for example, we are investing now in our probably largest investments ever done in our history in uh, products, uh, polymers for membrane, for batteries, in the US and it's $850 million and IRA has been, you know, the last piece which we needed to invest in the US. So US has its right, strong dollar, strong business friendly and IRA helps. Just spell out the details specifically, how does the IRA help? Is it a blank check that comes back your way? There are different uh, systems, right? There are grants, there are taxes, right? Uh, incentives, so there are different, you know, there are state in incentive. I've seen you, uh, it's, uh, our investment is in uh, Augusta in Georgia, so uh, you also welcome the governor here who is present in Davos. So it's, it's a whole package, you discuss the different pieces. This makes it even more complex if Europe were to come up with something similar because so many different parts of Europe and how they feel about subsidies as well. Yeah. On top of that, I mean, some feel as though, um, this is the Spanish Prime Minister, yeah. that there was homework in Europe around bureaucracy, regulation first, Absolutely. that had to change. Yeah. But, you know, it seems from the outset, yeah. creating that ascent of the grant schemes, the loans yeah. and indeed those checks, doesn't that need to come very quickly? Yeah, very, very quickly. And I think Europe needs to be inspired. I mean, uh, copying just the IRI as is, it doesn't help because Europe has, for example, I can speak about the chemical industry uh, I belong to. It has an old infrastructure, more than 100 years. And Europe is the most regulated region in the world. We have the Green Deal, we have the Fit for 55. So we need to decarbonize this infrastructure. It comes with a cost. For example, a company like Solvay needs to invest 20% of our annual revenues to decarbonize between now in 2050, we need uh, the ecosystem of renewable at, at cost and at scale. It has to be affordable, right, to do that. Second is the green electricity, the, the green renewable, because without it I cannot decarbonize or I cannot invest in greenfield. So all of this makes it, you know, a bit an opportunity for Europe now not to live only with less gas coming from Russia, but also to accelerate this green renewable infrastructure. And you're right, one of the issues is permitting. Permitting is insane. It's extremely tough on us in Europe for the energy makers, the clean energy makers, but also for the chemical industry. So we are making a call to actually accelerate permitting and have less bureaucracy. A lot has changed since COVID, including yeah. national security concerns around some key products, and that being semiconductors yeah. in particular. Yeah. I mean, from the United States to China and yeah. Europe, yeah. there's a race to build out factories. But in that race for resilience yeah. in semiconductors, yeah. are Europeans overlooking one key part, chemicals, yeah. and where that fits into the equation? <laughs> Thank you for asking the question. Ch chemistry is the mother of all industries. Without us, there is no semiconductor, no batteries, no uh, green hydrogen. So you're right. I think the call is to look at the whole value chain and not forget the hard to abet and the chemical industry. So now we are investing in Europe, not only in batteries, but also in, um, in rare earths, you know, because Europe is looking for its sovereignty and independence from China. Um, and likewise, we are doing in, in the US, but accelerated by RA in semiconductors as well. So yeah, I think Europe, uh, like the US is doing, and China did it for decades to build those extremely resilient value chain from A to Z. We need to be inspired and start not copying the commodities, right? Because there will be still trade, I believe, between China and, and Europe, and Europe and the US, right? This is not about protectionism. This is about onshoring the critical raw materials, right? Including chemistry, which are essential for the sovereignty, including the energy uh, and industrial policies. Just to paint a picture for the audience, is there a risk that it looks like something that we've seen in the auto sector where you've got all these new EV cars ready to go, but the chips are not coming in, yeah. so it halts production? Could we be in the situation where these new semiconductors are ready to roll off uh, certain production lines, but there is a key missing part, and that's yeah. the chemicals, the solutions yeah, yeah. that go into the mix, yeah, yeah. so then it halts production? Yeah, and, and we are very vocal, Karen, believe me. We are, we are saying, you know, don't forget... Uh, you know, the source of materials, right? Uh, because 
people think chemistry is, is chemistry is easy no chemistry rice is again the mother of all industries you need we are invisible but without us the battery doesn't work right even if we are less than two percent of the content and less than two percent of the cost so you need that so I think um, no the, the, the politician the regulators the key stakeholders uh, have got it I think we had the, you know several engagements since uh, you know summer last year about the importance of localizing the rare earth right the batteries they talk even about the airbus of batteries and i think covid helps us you remember when we had we didn't have mask or we didn't have you know the vaccine or essential for some you know drugs and medicines i think people start saying well let's not forget the, the secret source, right? The source. So now we are getting more attention, uh, but it, it's, it's an intent and we need an action plan.